Hi, my name is Aaron Thomas. I'm from the Manchester Central Campus. It's a pleasure to be with you and I pray that the words I share shortly will be a blessing to you and that you won't just hear my words and my thoughts, but the Holy Spirit will ignite something in you um, that will help you on your journey in 2022. I also want to say that there's so many great individuals across the campuses and locations of our church um, that share devotionals every day. So stay plugged into all the things that are happening there. Stay in touch with all the social media handles, whether you're liking on Facebook, following and subscribing on YouTube or following on Instagram to just stay in touch with all the different things that are happening so you can get the devotionals um, to you. And also you can sign up via email on the website as well. So I'm going to go in up to Romans 15 verse 13, where it says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray this year that you understand and know that the God of hope is with you and that he wants to fill you with joy and peace. Joy and peace doesn't mean we're gonna be bouncing off the walls um, every single day, but it is a, a posture of knowing that regardless of the situation and circumstances, we can have joy and peace that supersedes situation and circumstance, whether that's good, bad, or indifferent circumstances that we may embark on or go through in 2022. So I want to encourage you that the God of hope wants to fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him. Trusting in him. Uh, I want to say something practical. Practical thing. Get a worship song that just allows you to connect in with God. If you haven't got one, try and find your favorite worship song and, and just keep playing on repeat so that you can magnify God bigger than your circumstance situation. I pray that this year, in 2022, joy and peace will be your portion, will be something that you have, um, that you would know that God is with you, you'd know that the God of hope is for you, that you'd have more joy and peace than you'd have anxiety and worry and uncertainty and fear, that you'd have more joy and peace than um, trepidation or um, tentativeness, that would allow you to have a tenacity to walk forward in the journey that you've got and in wanting to achieve your goals, your dreams, your aspirations in 2022. But the Apostle Paul, one of my favorite um, people in the Bible, is just trying to encourage us as believers to know that the God of hope is with us. The God of hope wants to fill us with joy and peace. So we can, we can always have a bit more joy and peace that will allow it to resonate in our hearts, to allow us to have a, to be calm when other people may be anxious or, or, and nervous and fearful and uncertain about what the future may hold. Uh, we're still on the back ends of a pandemic, but the God of hope can still give you joy and peace in that. Whether you're looking for employment, whether you're looking for business breakthrough, whether you're looking at relationships, he can give you joy and peace in that area. As you trust in him, as you trust in him. So I encourage you in worship, and, and we often say praise is the precursor or the, the thing that precedes breakthrough. And in the areas where you're wanting breakthrough in your, your life, um, I want to encourage you to know that God is for you. God wants you to win. Win is relative and win is, it has different con uh, uh, contexts and has different connotations to different individuals. But... Trusting in God is not a futile exercise. Trusting in God, trusting in the word of God, trusting in him wanting the best for you is not a futile exercise this year. So that you may overflow. I want you to overflow. Overflow is something where the cup just runs over. The overflow of people that are connected to you are beneficiaries of your joy and peace. Me having more joy and peace is greater and better for my kids, my wife, the people connected to me. The same thing... Uh, applies to you as well. I pray that the overflow of your life and the people that are directly connected to you and the people that may come across you both in your households and also in your different contexts of work or employment or relationships, that they would know that the God of peace is in you and with you. Allow the power of the Holy Spirit. That's not something that we can work towards and graduate and go towards in a ladder, uh, in a linear way like going up a ladder and we, we now graduate to have now power, power of the Holy Spirit. Allow the 
the relationship with the Holy Spirit to be one that you cultivate this year. Allow the Holy Spirit into the details of your life. Every detail, the good, the bad, and the ugly. We all have it. Let me be, let me be honest. God, I need to get God in good, bad, and ugly. And let's be honest, we all have those ugly parts of us that we need to work on. So, allow the Holy Spirit to ignite um, wisdom, truth, correction in those areas so that we can have not only joy and peace, but we can have gratitude and we can have trust and we can be steadfast and stand firm in knowing that, number one, our God is for us. Number two, the God of hope wants to fill us with joy and peace. Number three, trusting in him is not a futile exercise. And that the overflow of our lives through the power of the Holy Spirit will supersede any degree, any um, intellect that we have, any expertise, anything that we did well in 2021. The Holy Spirit, allow the freshness of the relationship with the Holy Spirit to be one where you cultivate it through prayer, through worship, through fasting. So that you can continually... Become the individual that Christ wants you to be, that, so that we can be all, we can, myself included, we can all become more Christ like um, in our endeavors to please Him and to glorify Him in the, the time that we have here. I just want to encourage you that as you go forward in this day, this afternoon, this evening, or whenever you're listening to this, that you are able, the God of hope is with you. The God of hope is for you. The God of hope wants to fill you with joy and peace. And my prayer is that joy and peace will be the, the, the bedrock of your 2022. That regardless of whatever you go through, good, bad or indifferent, that you'll be joyous in the good times, you'll be joyous in the not so good times. You'll have peace when it's going great. You'll have peace when it's maybe not going as it's planned. And as you listen to this, um, I pray that you don't hear my words, but the Holy Spirit would ignite something in you that would allow you to embark on this day with a different perspective, will allow you to practically implement something that will allow you um, to be more like him, which is the ultimate goal of all of us, to be more like uh, Jesus. God bless you. Look forward to seeing you in the future. And... Um, Go forward with the authority that God has given you um, and allow the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit, just to be a, a daily thing like washing your face and brushing your teeth in the morning. It's just, it's just, the Holy Spirit is with me. And allow that to be your declaration, especially when you may have to make key decisions or make certain um, decisions and choices, no matter how big or small, throughout today. God bless you.